Good day, it's Mr. Bill here again today. And uh, this tutorial is the second part on how I go about doing my live sets, and it's just a quick one this time. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you how my foldering systems work and how um, I don't have to prearrange my set before I play it. I can choose what tunes I want to play as I go. So um, I've just set my folder browser here to look for all my sets. So um, I've just basically got all these folders, and they've got lots of little Ableton live set files in them. And the way I've done this is I've sliced my tune up, so I'll just open this one. And um, you can see I've sliced my tune up, and then what I've done is I've gone save live set as, and then I've gone into uh, a project folder, so um, I've got a folder called sets, and then within there I've got lots of project folders, and they're just my different albums, so there's the celebration album and all the separate live sets in them and the barcodes album and all the separate live sets in them etc so um, I've just gone to say the Suave EP and just saved it as the the track name and number and the BPM so what that allows me to do now if I just get rid of all this stuff is I can just um I have I actually have a set called template I'll just open that up for you don't see it So I've created this template set, and pretty much what it is, is it's just a bunch of empty slots for me to start chucking tracks into. Um, I've got all these, kick A to other A, kick B to other B, and then all of these are routed to kick, like kick A and B are routed to kick C, base A and B are routed to base C, etc. And then I send all these ones to uh, send channels, so I've got a bunch of send channels with uh, reverb, delay, filters, flanges, etc. on them. And then I've got two automation lanes and everything runs through the automation lanes. So everything from here to here runs through automation lane one, then automation lane one goes into automation lane two, and then that goes out the master. Uh, all the sends are pre-effects, so um, whatever's happening with the faders doesn't matter. I can turn them all the way down if I want to, and I'll still be getting a completely affected signal. So basically everything's set up. The only thing that's not there is the tunes. So now what I can do with my foldering system here is I can just drag in a tune and there it is, it's ready to go. As soon as it loads up, it's ready to play and then as I'm playing that tune, I might go, oh, I want to play something from Celebrations now. So I go into there and I just drag that one into Kick B and stuff. And there, um, <clears throat> they've all been, the crossfaders have all been, oh, these ones aren't anymore. I'll change them now. So I, all these are... Um, map to be crossfaded on A and all these second uh, kick B and stuff are on crossfader B so I can mix between them like so and all the samples are on repitch they should be yep, repitch so no matter where I am in the set I can change BPMs uh, really drastically and it won't mess with the timbre too much it'll just repitch the samples they'll keep their original timbre but they'll just go up and down in pitch so say I'm coming to the end of Major Am. And then I want to mix into... From here I want to mix into um, all the stuff on the B channel. So I'll start playing a pattern from that. at 160 BPM, so I'll have to start speeding it up. Notice how it's still keeping its timbre, but it's just going up in pitch. And that's pretty much how I go about working through my sets. I just load tunes in from my browser over here that I've already pre-chopped up and I can just choose whatever tune I want whenever and just start playing them. If I run out of scenes, um, I generally don't because I've created a few hundred in the template, but if I do, um, once I get to the bottom I can just start pressing uh, Command I, I think it is. Yeah, just start pressing Command um, <coughs> Command I and it'll just start creating new scenes for you and then when you've got a few six scenes just start duplicating them if you run out. And yeah, you can go on for ages with this method. So I've got uh, one, two, three, three albums, um, two EPs, 
<clears throat> a bunch of extra tunes and remixes and stuff that I've done. Uh, a few of the Electricado tunes. Um, uh, this is a lazy set. I don't really play very much, but this is just all pre-arranged in the arrange window, and it's got a few um, effects and stuff on the master that I can play with. But yeah, I've got like I don't know, almost 50 or so tunes to choose from to play in live view now, and it just keeps going up as I can be bothered to slice them up when I finish them. So yeah, I think this is a good method, just because um it opens you up to to like a a huge amount of variation during your live sets as to what you play. You don't have to um, specifically set up a certain uh, array of tunes to play and then stick to that format when you're playing live. You can just drag in whatever you want and yeah, I uh, hope you got something out of it and if you have any questions shoot me an email. Um, go to mrbillstunes.com to get the free musics and other tutorials and such and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll put the template up on the server for um, Hardcore Ableton Ears if you're keen to grab that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take it easy.